Now it's time to convert the insight from an automatic CVT transmission to a manual transmission. So I'm going to go over what we've got uh, going on here and what challenges there are in this process. And I'll show you, start by showing you the pedals and the process here. So here we've got the pedals laid out next to each other. Here's the original CVT brake pedal. Here's the manual uh, five-speed insight brake pedal. And here's the clutch pedal. So the brake pedal is no problem. These look like they're going to bolt. This is just going to bolt right up. The only difference uh, is the pad on the on the brake pedal there. So that's not going to be a big deal. Uh, as you can see, there's an extra switch on the CVT pedal. Um, looks like th this switch here is probably for the brake lights. Those are, look to be identical, so that'll just plug right in. I'm not using any CVT stuff, so I don't think it's going to be an issue to not have that one on there. Um, if you really wanted to retain that for some reason, you could always uh, swap the arm, maybe. I think you could probably do that. Yeah, looks like it's got the same motion like it is and stuff. So you could probably drill this out and swap the arm from the manual to the CVT. Um, like I said, if you wanted to retain that, you could, you could do that. The challenge with the CVD, CVT cars is the clutch pedal is not a direct bolt in. So you can see here that the you can see better. this part is meant to bolt up to the to the clutch master cylinder. Uh, I'm not sure if there's a spacer or something on the manual cars or what, but the I'll show you here. The CVT cars just have this plate here that uh, blocks the hole in the firewall. So I can maybe show you that. Look up in here, and you can see this is just next to the wheel looking up under the firewall. You can see I've got the uh, Civic Clutch Master kind of hanging in there. So that's where that plate would be. Once you take the once you take the fender liner out, it's pretty simple to access. So, like I was saying, once you pull out the um, so once you pull out the, the plug that was in the firewall, you can get your, uh, you know, these, these two bolts here do line up uh, with the hole in the firewall and the, uh, the Civic Clutch Master cylinder. The problem is, if you bolt this up, and maybe I can show you in another video here. If you bolt this up flush with the firewall, uh, the contour of the bottom of the dash or the cowl here doesn't really match up. So you need to space this out some. So it looks like you have to space this out, which you could probably uh, I gotta figure out what that dimension needs to be. Maybe someone else has done it. <clears throat> and then there's no there's no hole. So this is the top. There's no hole in the uh, cowl for this bolt here. So you're missing a bolt hole. You know, this distance doesn't seem to be quite right if you just make it flush up against there. So I need to figure that out. But the good news is it's mostly located by these holes already. Um, just a matter of sorting through it. So that's kind of where I'm at. I'll throw this. Uh, clutch pedal in there and sort of give you a quick a quick overview of what that looks like inside the car if I can fit with my camera. Okay so if you were not enjoying my Blair Witch style camera work before this should really be this should really be a treat for you. So we're looking up under the dash here. I've got this is the clutch pedal right here. I've got it held up here. Um, so 
it needs to be spaced against out against the wall. I don't know if you can see that there's a gap up up uh, up there. Um, the bigger problem though is that if you look right up here, that's the hole in the cowl where the brake pedal vertical bolt will go. But there isn't one there for the clutch pedal. So that's going to be a problem. I'll get that figured out. I'll probably 3D print a spacer for behind the pedal over here and maybe try a couple different dimensions and make that available to people. Um, and then I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do there. It looks like this this piece of cowl here is, uh, you know, that you might be able to access it from the backside. So maybe I can just drill a hole and put a nut on the other side, which I'm sure the next person that has to take this apart will really love, but hopefully that won't be me. Uh, so here's, here's what it looks like under here. Um, it is kind of nice because you don't have to take the steering shaft out of the car. I'm used to Fox Body Mustangs where you have to take basically the whole steering column out to get the clutch pedal uh, and brake pedal mount out. It's all one piece in those cars. So this is quite a bit easier, I think. Uh, still doesn't save you from a few hours laying on your back with your head under the dash, but that's okay. Here we go. Here are the spacers I 3D printed for the clutch pedal on the inside. So I can show you here how this is going to fit. So these go like so between the clutch pedal and the firewall. This is one inch of spacers and I'll put the file, I'll, I'll make, make this thickness uh, one inch and put it on Thingiverse so people can download it and use it however they want. Um, so the clutch pedal is ready to go in. I've got the um, the rib nut installed for the top part and I'll show you that too. So there is my uh, clutch master cylinder installed with the 3D printed spacers and then you can see up here I've got my rib nut installed. I don't know if you can tell, but there's like a kind of a divot uh, in the aluminum where that uh, that rib nut is installed. The rib nut is installed pretty much right in the center of where that divot is, so it's pretty easy to get your drill bit to center. Um, so I think it's ready to all get put together here. I'll uh, get a video of it when it's all in the car. All right, I've got my clutch pedal in and my brake pedal back in. That rusty vertical bolt there uh, is the one that I had to uh, put the rib nut in the, uh, in the uh, body for. And then I've got everything put back together over here. I've also got the... I can't really see much now. So, there you have it, three pedals. Um, so it's it's in there, it's ready to go. Um, it's got a clutch master cylinder in, I need to finish plumbing it. Um, I've got the Accord shifter box in here. Uh, the two front bolts line up with uh, where the CVT shifter was and then I had to drill and put a nut on the back of uh, the two in the back, but it's on there as good as it ever was It's got the Accord transmission in it So there you have it a five-speed swapped uh, Insight from a CVT